Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to it. Uh, so I'm sitting here thinking about, I don't know why, but I just randomly started thinking. So Taylor Swift has a song, Picture to Burn. And then the original that was in 2000, 2006, there was a line that I'm assuming she changed to where, she says, or she sings, I'll tell mine you're gay. I just not realize that line's not in the version nowadays. I'm assuming she changed it because some point in her career was I haven't known Taylor Swift for a while. Pretty sure everybody's known Taylor Swift. Is, I'm pretty sure everybody's known who Taylor Swift is for a while, has known. Who we'll see it? And I've never heard her like getting hate for like this song for that line. So I don't know why she changed it. It could be she had a feeling just in case she was gonna get hate for it. Uh, she changed it just in case, and I'm like, look, I remember that. L like, I've always listened to that song, but, like, past couple of years, I've thought this before a couple of times, but I'm like, the line in the song used to be, I'll tell mine you're gay. Like, I go to sing, I'll tell mine you're gay, and then I'm like, oh shit, that's not the line. I'm like, I thought that <laughs> this was, like, a different universe, what, like... Like, I'm, is this, I thought this was like some Berenstein, Bernstein, Berenstein, Bernstein, Berenstein, Berenstein, I thought this was some of that shit, I can't think of the word, parallel, parallel universe shit, but no, this actually happened, she changed it, I don't know why, she changed it, don't remember when she changed it. I'm like, I typed in Taylor Swift gay picture to burn. I don't know why I typed it in that way, but I did. Am I the only one that's realized this? Or does somebody else know about this and it just hasn't been brought up? For whatever reason. Okay, this is on Life on the Fearless Tour. The safest things I'll tell mine you're gay. Live. Plus, got a girl with him. No! I'm gonna skip. Right. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'm going to your friends. Okay. Why is my TV not letting me pause? There we go. Like... I wonder when she... Okay, somebody commented on this video. I'll never forgive them for changing. I'll tell mine you're gay. That was iconic. More than iconic to me. Like it was everything, and she changed it. Like I'm trying to find your. When was the Fearless tour? What year? I don't know. Somebody else commented on this video of the live person. Uh, where's that? Imagine the re-recorded version of this. She already put out Fearless Taylor's version, didn't she? So hang on. Cause I forget. I forget what Taylor's version albums are out. Like, she put out so many albums that aren't Taylor's versions that it's hard to keep up, so let's type in. Picture to burn. Taylor's version. 
and they'll tell me that I'm right, it's already been put out. Wait, what? Take my hand and hold I stopped for a hundred percent sure Taylor or Taylor's room. Fearless Taylor's version has already been put out. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Fearless Taylor's version album. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times, so I know my way around. Yeah, Taylor's version of Fearless is already out. Did you just decide not to include that one as a re record? Yeah. I'm just content with me next to you. Here we come look and see. Let's go to an art museum. I'll explain it at the coffee shop. Okay, hang on. I'm fixing to have to like pause filming a gift. Yeah. So you even put out. So where the fuck? Excuse my friends is picture to burn. Cause isn't that on fearless? I'm gonna grab my laptop so I don't have to quit filming. Oh, my laptop was already turned on. No, I just turned it off. Go here. We can type in why hasn't oh, so. Taylor Swift read. Picture to burn. Let's go to an art museum. I'll explain it at the coffee shop. I know you don't get it, but there's no need to credit. It's like a gift, it's about the thought. No need to be too much. Taylor Swift criticized one of her earliest and censored its video. The controversial one and an early case of it. Okay, I'm reading this. What Taylor Swift said about Picture to Burn and how she can say I had the song and then I Swift. Swift hasn't just criticized pictures, Burns, she censored it herself. Hang on, I'm gonna figure out what album Picture to Burn is on. Picture to Burn. Oh, it's because it's on her debut album. Why am I a dumbass? For thinking that it was on Fearless. Okay, my mom's home. Earlier than I expected her to be home. I'm gonna end this clip here. I'll see y'all in the next clip whenever that is. Peace, guys. Okay, guys, I just looked to see when that last clip was filmed. So it was filmed yesterday at 11 58 p.m. around then. It is now. It was filmed on May 26th. It is now Saturday, May 27th, 9 50 p.m. So. Really, 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 really had a bad day. Uh, number one, because I was up all night 
and I'm usually asleep by like at least 5.15 a.m. The reason I didn't end up falling asleep is because I think I had a mocha frappe from McDonald's and I was drinking that. I mean, I had it drunk by like 12.15 a.m. and I'm like still up by like 7 in the morning. I'm like, why am I still awake? Like, I didn't really smoke a frat, but he was gonna keep me up that long. And then I have melatonin medicine that helps me go to sleep now that I take. I've been taking it for like a month and a half. Melatonin to help me sleep and I didn't take it. I thought I would just naturally fall asleep on my own. So of course, I think it was a mocha frappe, so uh... Another reason why it was a bad day is because I got in a fight with my mom. So, I uh, went to go get lunch around 11, or 11, 12 at noon today, and uh... There's like, I'm leaving out and you're gonna have the door to for dinner. And I'm like... Like, like, figure something out and she left. Like, I just... I didn't even eat the lunch like that, which was McDonald's. I just drank them. I got another mocha frappe from McDonald's. I drank that and that was that. But uh, continue with the story. Uh, so it was, I just went in my room, shut the door. I have a futon in my room that I just laid on until I heard her leave because I did not want to be around her because I literally thought there was a chance I I would kill her, literally, because I was that mad at her and that I was sleep deprived too so she left around 1 p.m. and she's been gone ever since I mean I ended up falling asleep for like I want to say an hour and a half or two and a half hours maybe and waking I fell asleep I know I was asleep by 3 15 p.m. and I woke up I know for sure by like 5 30 p.m. <sighs> and I took like, I waited like an hour and a half or two to take a shower, took a sh well, I took a bath. Difference between shower and bath, taking but a while. Uh, but now it is, what, 9.53 p.m. I texted her like two times, I'm like, Taco Bell closed. The recent, she was like, I'm going out of town. I'm not gonna be in the, the same town. And I'm like, great. So that's why. She's like, you're gonna have to door this for dinner. Because I'll be in a different town. But uh, I text her like two times. I'm like, Taco Bell in town, here in town, stays open till 3 a.m. If you're back by then, I can get dinner around that time. Text her twice. No response from her. I mean, I texted her like 30 minutes ago. I'm like, look, I'm sorry. But can you please, please, just come home by 3 a.m. in the morning and we can get Taco Bell. Number one, I had chicken nuggets. That's what I got from McDonald's. I figured out a good way to, like, reheat them. And one of the ways was in the oven, so I did that. I ate them. It was a 20-piece. They tasted the same. But, like, I'm still hungry. So now, how do I feel about my sleep schedule being fucked up? Let's get to that part. ADHD in me. One switch topic. I'm really, really fucking mad about it. But I know it's tomorrow, aka Sunday, it's gonna have to be fixed. Number one, because my mom's gonna clean. If y'all don't know, my mom has this side gig thing she does on the weekends with her friend where she helps clean places and she gets money from it, extra money from it. And uh, she's supposed to clean three, three places I think she said, I asked her this on Thursday and she's like, I think three places. So either two or three places she's cleaning. And after that we're gonna, supposed to be going to Walmart. So I'm gonna need to stay up for that and she could, she usually goes cleaning at nine or 10 a.m. and so uh so she's clean if it's, if it's three places probably not gonna be done till like 2 30 maybe even 3 45 ish p.m. and so and I was asleep I fell asleep during that time frame today so I'm gonna have to 
stay up to go to Walmart and get groceries. Which is why I... I didn't want a doorknob because I knew I was going to fall asleep and it was going to be like a time where it was like too late to doorknob and like that's the time now where it's too like I'm taking a shower and everything right now would be the perfect time to doorknob if it wasn't so late. Plus I hate doorknob and in general like it's awkward to me and everything when I knock on your door I just don't feel like dealing with it. just grab my food from the person. And if they leave it at the door, that's still look I don't know. It's just a whole thing I just really, 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 really hate doing. So, uh, so left around one, it's now nine, so I haven't seen my mom in eight hours. Eight and a half hours. I don't even know what town she's in. And what's crazy is a house that like a block down from me got robbed and the person that the group of people who robbed it they're still out there and my mom seen that truck it was a green truck not that long ago she said like a couple like a day or two ago and it's like i tried to chase it down but like they sped off and i'm like great She's out of town today and we didn't even talk about that before the she left. What do I do if I see that truck and it tries to like rob us? So now like I've been on edge all day. Like I was, I think by Louie I was able to fall asleep. I wasn't really thinking. I was just like, at that point I was so mad at my mom. Like I was just like hoping and praying that somebody did rob this house because you know what that would mean, it would force her to have to stay home aka I would be able to get dinner. And it's just like, well that didn't happen. I don't, I feel awful saying that because I got robbed, but it's not happened, but like, I was like doing everything in my power to like try and get her to like, I'm like, you're, you're off Monday for Memorial Day. You can go do whatever shit you need to do that day and I couldn't order pizza that day because I love that's kind of like the perfect day to order pizza. And she's like, no, it's I'm going today, it's been planned. And I'm like, if it's been planned, you would have told me a couple of days ago. So, uh, yeah. uh, very, very mad at her still, even though I said I'm sorry to her. Even if she doesn't show up for talk, well, if she doesn't show up to bring me to talk about, I'm gonna be more mad at her, and I may end up putting off going to Walmart until Monday because I don't know if I can handle like just going to Walmart because I don't know why. Whenever I go to Walmart, she's always whiny and bitchy to me, towards me about we have to save money, we have to do this, and I'm like, we were supposed to be going to Walmart. Friday? Or not Friday, Wednesday. And now we're going fucking Sunday because of money problems. So it's like, we haven't been, you, you, it seemed like we've been fine for like two months and now you're bringing up, because you haven't really said shit. Every time we go to Walmart for two months straight, you haven't really said we need to make sure we're good on money. And I'm just like, now we're having money problems? Like, yeah, I get, we have to pay for Netflix, we have to get our own Netflix because Netflix, but we've had it for like a month and a half now. And so like get with the fucking program, figure out other shit that helps you get money. Like I tell her, I tell her like I hate that she cleans because I'm like, that's not an actual second job. If it was, you would get paid a little bit more for it. So, I want her to get an actual second job and... I've wanted that for like a good two and a half years. He's been doing this cleaning thing, I want to say three and a half, four years, I don't even know. A while now and it's just like... Yeah, we make it, but like, there's gonna be a point where we possibly don't make it. I know this video's gonna be hella long. So if I really don't fucking care.
I know this video is over like 20 minutes now because the last clip I filmed was like around 10 minutes. And me not getting a response from my mom like her taking me to Taco Bell before 3 a.m. What I think about that is I don't think she's gonna come before 3 a.m. So I'm like, I'm already starting to like prepare to be mad at her again. Or mad at her, I guess I can say. I don't know, today's been like a really strange day, I think, because my sleep schedule's fucked up. And literally, yesterday I was saying, oh, I, um, my sleep schedule is getting worse and worse, and I'm staying up later and later. And literally, the day before, 24, 25, 30 hours ago, I said something about it, and now my sleep schedule is completely fucked. It's fucked. Like, what a coincidence is that. I think, I think I kind of knew that the time was coming where my sleep schedule was going to be fucked up again. <sighs> Today is that day. I really don't want to fix it tomorrow, but... I think even if she doesn't show up to take me to Taco Bell before 3 a.m., I think I'm still gonna want to go to Walmart Sunday and not put it off till Monday. I wanted if I put it off till Monday, Walmart could be mega packed because it's Memorial Day. And so I'm gonna put that. I know my week's gonna be off the second Monday comes because my mom's gonna be off work and she's never off work Monday so unless it's holiday or she takes off for some reason and so it's gonna be feeling like it's Saturday or Sunday to me come Monday I'm not really plan on doing so for Memorial Day so if I, I don't have any plans for Memorial Day if you're wondering I just plan on doing the same old same old that I do every single day. Got a message from my grandma, well it was a gif, saying happy memorial day weekend. <laughs> Thank you grandma, I didn't reply to it number one because she sent it to me when I was asleep. And I would too, like it's been a shitty day so. Plus, it, you would talk to my grandma, you're gonna be talking to my grandma because my grandma can talk a lot more than I can. She can talk to you for like three hours and I'm just like, don't want to talk to her. Which is why I rarely even talk to my grandma because I just don't want to be talking to her for like a good three hours. Because, well, I'm just like, three hours of my time has been wasted just talking to you. Like, so I just don't really feel like doing all that today talking to my grandma. There are days where I'm like, I wonder if my grandma knows that I'm alive still and <laughs> just not responding. Like, I don't even, I remember the last time I seen my grandma, I just don't remember the month or day that was. It's been a while. I think it was this year. Maybe January or February of this year is the last time I seen her. I think it's randomly just swung by. Well, she texted me and she said nothing about coming over. I don't respond to that message since she just broke by and it was a complete shock to me, but uh... I do want to like mend my relationship. I do want to like have this like a reconciliation, I guess you can call it, with my grandma, but it's just like, don't like the person she's married to and in order to do all that, I technically would have to like the person she's married to. There's a lot of reasons that I don't like the mar the person she's married to. One of the reasons is because nobody even thought of, even though I wouldn't have gone, nobody even thought of just like inviting me to her wedding. She didn't invite me, nobody said shit to me, she just got married and other people, lots of people were at the wedding and I'm just like, I'm your granddaughter. You're only biologically 
blood related granddaughter. I haven't said any other stomach grab on I'm just like in my head I'm like that's who would just not even invite me even though I would say no. It does hurt because now I'm like well now I know my place in her life. She says she loves me and all that but does she really if she would not invite me to a wedding? What does she know I, beforehand I was going to say no? She couldn't have possibly known that I was going to say no. Like, it takes like 1.5 seconds to say, hey, you want to go to a wedding? To my wedding? You want to come? And the fact that she didn't sucks. It really fucking sucks. There's lots of things that my grandma, my grandma has done besides this that's caused me hurt. A lot of them she does not know about because I'm, I'm afraid to come at her sideways because I'm like, well, if I come at her sideways, even though I want nothing to do with that part of my family, including people that aren't my grandma that are on that side of the family still I would still want to have like some kind of relationship with them and so if I come out of her sideways I'm basically kind of cutting all ties with that side of my family just because of that and I'm just like plus I'm scared of what will happen if I do like was she gonna curse me out? kill me? She has a restraining order against my dad. I know she, there's a very good reason why she does, but she could get a restraining order against me, and I just don't want that. And I'm pretty sure my mom would like, like my mom would like probably a thousand percent kill me if I was to come outside. Right? Even though my mom doesn't really like my grandma either, my grandma has made it to where. Me and my mom, I mean, we like her, we can kind of stand her, but it's just like all the shit that she's done. I had this horse that I'd known since I was like a baby, and then I, I believe when I was like nine, I was gonna take my niece or nephews to go see that horse, and I texted her, and she was like, over text message and horse is gone sold it to a tax person I'm like you didn't tell me beforehand and I know you knew that this was happening beforehand because they had to pick out a time that you were going to be available to come and get my horse the horse that even though I was I was coming over there more than I do nowadays I was coming over there just for that fucking horse and I didn't get to say goodbye I didn't get to say goodbye and I know that horse up until the age of nine. That was the only horse, well there was a couple of horses that I've known but like that was the only horse that I really cared to know. That horse was my everything. I miss that horse a lot. The name was Callie. I don't even have one picture of that horse. And I wonder whose fault that is. Hers. And like every animal, every cat, every bunny, every dog I kept over at my grandma's, they always ended up like disappearing, like running off. I think she was doing something to them. I truly, truly do because like, why would they all just keep mysteriously disappearing one after another after another after another after another? The only animal that was that I kept on my grandma's until it died was my bulldog that I had named Dallas. Yes, after Dallas, Texas. Dallas. Dallas Cowboys. Dallas. And I was rarely seeing that dog because I moved to a town 45 minutes away. And the way I found out that dog died was a phone call for my grandma. And I remember that the day finding out vaguely 
I remember crying and crying and crying and crying. I'm like, I'm not exaggerating and crying. All day. The one I didn't get to say goodbye. So like, the dog I have now. That dog. Chihuahua. I have PTSD from that. Like, it's something like... I hate being away from a dog for more than an hour. Like, I truly, 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 truly do. Because I have, like, some, like, PTSD built up from that. Because I'm like, I'm not going to be here to say goodbye to her. Which is why I always, 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 always want to be home with my dog. So, when the day comes that she does die, it's in my arms. And I'm, and I can say goodbye to her. Bulldog. I remember her vaguely. It's like I've always grown up with dogs. With pets. And that pet was a special one. It was one of the special pets I could see call that I've had in my life. It's just like I'm scared for when the day comes that the dog I have now dies. Because my sis, my sister's dog died last year, and it's just like I grieve that dog like she was my own dog, and it's just like, oh, that's gonna be a million times worse because it was I grieved it like it was my own dog. I was able to get it over it faster because I was in, in the house where that dog used to be 24/7. Or used to be used to live and everything used to roam and and this house I would will be in 24 7 when my dog does that I'm pretty sure so there's gonna be things that remind me of her like your dog cage I look at that when my dog is gone and I'm gonna be a mess so uh I mean, I can't slow down time. I try to like cherish time with my dog, but this is like, I don't know. If I start doing that, then I start thinking about the days that she's gonna die. Which is why I have never Googled how long a chihuahua's life expect expectancy is because I don't want to know. Like, I just want to. Whenever she dies, that's how old I'm guessing chihuahuas are expected to live for. So if she lives until she's child, then that's how long I guess chihuahuas are typically, typically are supposed to live for. I love this dog that I'm staring at right now with everything I have in me. And when that day comes and I'm still doing social media, I know for a fact. Uh... The, uh, I'm gonna have to take a break from social media probably for a long while because if I continue to film videos during that time I'm gonna be crying 24 7 like there's gonna be billions of videos of me posting and just crying just me crying and talking about her but uh I'm going to go ahead and end this video, go edit it, because I've been filming this clip for, clip for 24 minutes. Last clip, I believe, is like 10 minutes long. The clip y'all seen before this one, and so, uh, yeah, this video is probably going to be like 34, 35, 36, 37 minutes long. So I'm going to end it here, but if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and if you're not already subscribed what are you doing hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to get notified when a new video gets posted but i'll see y'all in that next video peace guys bye